I'm with the new head cross country coach at the Air Force Academy, Ryan Cole. It's good to have you. Thank you. Glad to be here. So at Arizona State, you had control of the women's team, but now you're running both men's and women's cross country teams for the Air Force. Correct. Does that cause you to change your coaching style? Um, not really. You know, we, we had a lot of really competitive people down at ASU, and, and I think when you're, you know, when you're working with competitive student athletes, there are a lot of similarities across the board, whether they're, they're guys and girls. But you also try to get a feel for the dynamic of who you have on the team and figure out how to you know, work with each student athlete as best you can so that they can be successful. So um, I think there will be some differences, but overall, you know, competitive people are competitive people. So looking forward to having both genders. And you coach one of your athletes at Arizona State to an NCAA championship. How does that prepare you for coaching your future athletes? Uh, well, I think it gives you a little credibility. You know, that uh, when, you're, when you're a student athlete, you want to know that the people you're working with know what they're doing. Um, and I think I'm inheriting a program here at the academy where um, the men and women have been very successful. And so it's helped definitely in that regard. But I think the, the biggest thing is just working with a range of, of student athletes so that, again, you can figure out what each athlete needs to do to be successful. And, um, you know, we, we had a lot of really, like I said, competitive people at ASU, but people that were improving. And as a coach, at the end of the day, you know, you want to see whoever you have just get better and give them the best chance that you can to be successful at, you know, at the NCAA division level, the, the conference uh, level, and just, you know, make them have a great experience here at the academy. And what does it mean to you to be a coach at Air Force? Um, I'm, I'm excited. You know, with my, with my distance program, I've always placed a, a heavy premium on character. And so to be a part of an institution where that's not just the distance program, but that's everybody here, whether you're a student athlete or not, is something that I really value. And that was one of the very attractive things when I was looking at this opportunity and, and decided to pursue it. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm really excited to be here, but not just because of the student athletes, but just the, the environment as a whole. And uh, what are your expectations for this cross-country season? We're going to compete hard. Uh, you know, we're going to prepare as best we can in the time we have, and we're going to go and take advantage of our competitive opportunities. But I expect that the men and the women to compete hard, and, you know, the outcomes will take care of themselves. But, uh, yeah, we're going to compete hard. And uh, we're spending the last seven years down in Arizona. When was the last time you were in a snowball fight? Oh, geez. Um, actually, we used to go up to Flagstaff, which was at 7,000 feet, and you'd be going to get on the bus after one of the indoor meets. And I tended to be a target of a lot of snowballs, so I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but yeah, they would come flying my way occasionally. Um, usually it was, it was one or two people, including the, the, the one that won the NCAA title. Uh, so yeah, the, the snowball fights, I'm not that rusty. Um, so you know, when January, February rolls around, I'll be ready to go. Well, thanks for your time and have a good season.